Hi guys, just a short update on this. I've managed to mount the uh, the element. It's I've used the 1200 degrees silicon uh, on the underside of this, and uh, once that was in, I've uh, just put some round here as well, just to finish it off. The um, where I'd cut this out, I hadn't done it exactly perfectly, so there was a few rough edges. But now the silicon's been uh, put round and sealed. It's absolutely perfect. It's in there. Yeah, pretty pretty squarely and, and quite level so I'm pleased with that um, next stage was just to cut some of the aluminium that I had left over from the other rework platform from earlier on in the summer um, and so I've just taken the other the other jig from that platform off for the moment just to uh, to test this out So that's pretty much how that will um, fit over there. Uh, I'm not going to rig up anything permanently onto the top of this because I suspect this will end up just as a you know a test sort of run project, and uh, I'll probably end up getting bigger uh, ceramic plates for the the proper final version, which I will probably mount in just the framework rather than uh, a PC case like this. Um, but yeah, the PID. Uh, can't get it into frame. Yeah, there we are. I'll, uh, I'll probably mount on uh, a pole uh, just behind. Perhaps um, I did uh, I did the similar thing with the thermocouples on the uh, on the other jig, as you'll remember from uh, the other videos. And uh, I'll probably just get all the wires into a, a tube, mount this on a circuit board, and then just bolt that onto. Uh, uh, you know a pole on the side that'll just be the easiest thing just to test this out so um yeah that's it pretty much done with that i've just got the wiring to do again as i said i don't think this will be a, a final solution i might use it for a preheater for smaller boards um but uh, yeah it'll be interesting to see how this ceramic uh, plate uh, behaves and what sort of temperatures we get and uh, what sort of heights the board will need to be above the uh, the plate. The other thing I thought of doing was, as I said in the other videos, was just putting a couple of spacers uh, in each corner and perhaps in the middle and having a glass uh, plate over the top. Um, and I was thinking of using stove glass, which I think is a, you know, a ceramic glass. It's not cheap. Um, and then I thought, well, actually, ovens use, um, you know, glass, and they're exposed to, you know, sort of 230, 240 degrees C. So it might be easier just to get a piece of glass uh, from an old oven, or uh, or maybe even buy a piece for a, for an oven of the right size. It might be cheaper than the uh, than the ceramic glass for the stoves. Obviously, the stoves you need to be work at a much higher a higher temperature. So yeah, next stage will be to just wire this up with the uh, the controller and uh, just uh, run it through some tests. That'll probably be uh, you know, after Christmas now. I think we're probably just going to have a few days off. I have got something at the post office which I'm quite excited about. There is a parcel waiting for me, which I think is from Peak Electronics, and I think it is their new DCA Pro, which has uh, just been uh, uh, released for sale. I think they've sent me a review uh, product, so I'm looking forward to doing the review on that. Might do that over Christmas if I get a chance, uh, so it's you know ready at the end of the week, and I'll probably compare the DCA Pro with the DCA 55, which uh, I still haven't done a review on. So uh, yeah, have a great Christmas, guys, and uh, I'll update you soon.